Attention, all agents. Guys, gather around. I've got an important announcement. Ooh, ooh, let me guess. You're bringing back the device point system? Uh, no. Uh, open world ABA with 100 versus 100? Dear God. No, guys, listen, this is important. We're going free to play. As you know, we've seen increased activity from the recursive colony. They're actively attacking our dome outposts. We could use more skilled agents around here. So I'm dropping the required agent entry fee. From now on, anyone can join our fight and progress beyond level 12 without paying a dime. What the frack? Ah, uh, here come the noobs. Hey, hey, hey. I want you to treat all these new agents with respect. Trial players, you guys are now called free agents. That means no more level cap. Do all the missions you want, get new gear, level up, no money required. And we are happy to have you here in Dome City. Now, paid players, from this point forward, you guys will be known as elite agents. We? Hell yeah, I'm we. But I'm a two-star assault who's afraid to get near the objective. How can you call me elite? Did you buy the game? Yeah. Okay then, you're now elite. Congratulations. Are there any other questions? Will there be an in-game cash shop? Not initially, but very soon. We're going to start off by offering boosts, just like we have today. Later, we will sell some items directly for real money from all these fine Dome City vendors. And if I have a lot of money, I'll be able to basically pay to win, right? What? No, 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 no. Any item that affects gameplay can be earned by playing missions, just like today. But if you want to get a certain item more quickly, you may have an option to buy it. What exactly did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking of starting a new medic and paying a crap load of money so I could jump in the under 30 mercues looking like this. No, that's not gonna happen. Level restrictions on items will be the same for free and elite agents. And items that are purchased directly will also have level restrictions. Okay, I think we got one minute until Recursive Colony strikes unlucky Dome 43 yet again. Final question? What about double-hitting mines? What? You know, freaking recons, they put down the mines, and sometimes for no reason they apply double damage. It's really frustrating. Okay, that has nothing to do with our move to free-to-play, but since you asked, double-hitting mines officially suck, we do have a fix, and we're going to include that version in 1.4. By the way, we also increased rewards in the 30-plus Mercus, fixed a bunch of exploitable areas in PvP and PvE maps, changed demolition to acquisition, so the PvP mode works more like traditional capture the flag, and modified the skill trees across all classes to support more specialization. So, we're still very focused on core gameplay and balance, even as we migrate to free-to-play. What do you all think of that? Huh? Oh, what? Oh, sorry, you're doing that thing where you talk super fast and then tune out most of it.